What's going on YouTube? Joey Brooklyn Knight back with another video on NBA 2K22 My Team. As you can tell by the title, we're back for a little pack opening. Of course, uh, the NBA 75th Anniversary Showcase. This weekend has been pretty fun as far as these free packs that we're getting. Two cards in each pack. Uh, I've collected a bunch of them. I opened a bunch of them as well, but I got about 50 or so to open. You can get uh, players out of these, and that's what uh, some people have been gotten lucky getting NBA 75th players from here there's a there's a chance at it although most of the ones that I've opened I'm getting amethyst cards uh, whether it be um, from the 60s 70s 80s all the packs uh, usually amethyst come out of there I got uh, a few uh, a few diamonds as well but mostly just uh, Amethyst, but there is a chance to pull as high as Galaxy Opals. I saw people pull Kevin Garnett's from there, and uh, Carmelo Anthony, I believe, was in the mix. I saw, of course, everybody's looking for some of those high tier ones, the ones that are most expensive, namely Magic Johnson. But uh, W of an event by uh, 2K to be dropping this. Uh, this is just out of nowhere. This came out, and uh, it's been pretty fun. Just uh, any game you win, uh, all these guys on the boards in the vault. Uh, Kobe Bryant, I pulled uh, a back-to-back -back Kobe Bryant's from the vault. One of them sold for 82K. That was before all the bots started going out there and uh, just making his price tank big time. Same thing happened with Clyde Drexler in uh, Triple Threat Online. People were making tons of MT this weekend off of uh, getting Clyde Drexler's, and LeBron James or whatever. Mostly Clyde because he hit, came out in both in two tiers. Uh, Kobe Bryant was dropping pretty well as well. He was dropping a pretty good amount. In the process, as you can see, I got Bill Lambeer from playing so much Triple Threat Offline. Triple Threat Offline was the move this weekend, at least for me. I played a little bit of clutch time. I was able to land on a Galaxy Opal uh, Dolph Chase. I sold them for like 95k. Uh, you know, his price was going to drop eventually. So I just threw on for 95k, but it is what it is. Let's get into what we're here for. Of course, these new uh, glitch packs are still available uh, with some pretty heavy hitters in there. Expensive cards, a lot of craziness going on with the uh, all those people that put the uh, 79 badge Michael Jordan up there. And uh, what was it? The uh, right here that was yesterday's auction sale, but all time 25 and a half mil basically. For a Michael Jordan card that, uh, yeah, GOAT one's going to come out pretty soon, you know, like in a month or two. So, uh, I don't know. That was a little crazy. Anyway, let's get into these packs. Of course, if you're new to the channel, kill the like button. Get it rolling. Then get the video rolling in the algorithm of YouTube. That way it reaches more people. More people see it, of course. Uh, more chances that uh, more people subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you got from these packs. If you got lucky, if you hit some pay dirt. Hopefully that's what I'm going to be doing. As I, as you can see, I got two Kobe still here. His price has tanked big time. I think you can get him for like 5K, 6K or something like that. Um, my first one I sold for 82K, like I said. That's all done now. And most importantly, smash that sub button. It's one of the road to 250 subs. Any sub is appreciated. Definitely. Let's keep it moving on the channel. Let's get into it. And as the late great American poet once said, well, wait, I gotta tell you the poet. Yeah, I know what I mean. Marvin Gaye once said, let's get it on. Get into these packs. Not not a traditional pack opening, but it is what it is. You know, you can get, uh, I've gotten a couple of these things. We start off with an amethyst right there. You see Oscar Robinson. These guys are going for dirt cheap, dirt cheap. Thing with these jerseys and uh, arenas are is that uh, you cannot send them to the auction house. You can add them to the exchange, but it's for a dynamic uh, deluxe pack, so no big deal. Can't send it to the auction house, of course, so I'm gonna sell it all. Just, you just sell them. And at the end of the day, like the model on the Joey Brooklyn Knight channel is, any MT is good MT. You sell it, it is what it is. All right, we get into pack number two. All right, let's see, we get back-to-back -back amethysts, and uh, of course, there goes Dave Bing, Boston, uh, Boston Celtic. Pistons player, uh, ironically, he dropped with a Pistons jersey. Have that already. It is what it is. Let's move it on. Uh, a lot of these jerseys I really, really like. I was uh, waiting for the uh, 
probably my favorite jersey of all time was the uh hope oh, i didn't have that one my favorite jersey was the Allen iverson uh 76ers jerseys and um from the 97 i think to 2000 or 2000 something uh maybe more than that but uh basically that was my favorite uh jerseys so i got uh, the home jersey and the away jersey and uh i'm switched my team uh you know my jerseys up the floor and everything everything is 2001 uh 76ers not a 76ers fan but my favorite jerseys uh probably all time i used to have an Allen iverson jersey way back in the day uh you know Allen iverson just one of the greatest ever you know the way he used to uh do his thing on the basketball court of course at six foot one he was just uh, doing amazing things. It is what it is. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys hit on these cards, on these packs. I'm looking to hit some pay dirt. Hopefully get a get a shake, get a pink diamond somewhere. Okay, I didn't have the uh, Lakers floor court. Actually, this is really, really good for collector level. Uh, we just passed 3,700 on the channel. So, uh, you know, I'm about about a little less than 50 away from uh, Dark Matter point guard shooting guard Clyde Drexler. Uh, as you know, I'm just trying to push my way towards the 4,000 cards so I can get that Dirk Nowitzki and of course get all those badges, the badge pack with every single badge in the game. I'd love to see it. Uh, I have enough MT if I play it smart. Uh, get, those, get those badges and buy a card Maybe not one of the ones that dropped today. By the time I hit 400 cards, there's going to be other cards that drop. Uh, maybe throw it on them. You know, hopefully, maybe when we get a point guard LeBron or a point guard KD or something like that. Some other crazy card that everybody's going to go nuts for. Just put all those badges on him. So I got some time to get there. The new Jersey Nets from 8284. Huh. Interesting. I didn't have that one, so that's a collector level. And of course, I sell sell Dave Ming. I mean, the most I thought he can sell for on the auction house maybe a thousand, a uh, thousand MT. So yeah, for me, it's not worth it. I don't know. I don't think Kareem is original owned that one. It that's not original owned, so I'll make that my originally owned Kareem Abdul Jabbar, old school. You know, they didn't use his older model for his 75th card. But it is what it is. Chicago Bulls. There you go. Shout out. One, another one of my favorite jerseys. Uh, the 95-97 pinstripe Chicago Bulls uniforms. Always a beautiful thing to see. I think these, they brought those out uh, with their uh, fifth championship season. You know. All right. We got another Chicago. We got Paul Arizin. I don't know how to say it. Let me see. The badges are the same. So... I'll just swap it, make sure I get the, I did not mean to do that. I don't know how much Aaron Gordon is going for. I guess I'll find out. All right, send play it to my auctions. It is what it is. I had a bunch of that. I'm really keeping those for uh, exchanges. Uh, if I need some diamonds or original owned diamonds, they, that's, uh, you know, that's basically what it's for. Okay, we get nothing there. Another dupe. See an Xavier McDaniel there. Uh, I did not touch Triple Threat Online all weekend. I've just been playing Triple Threat Offline. I've been playing uh, Clutch Time and Triple Th uh, Triple Threat, and then Clutch Time, and then I limited. I got my I played my first game. Um, the guy quit. Ring was in the middle. You love to see it. Just get out of there. Just get get my win and leave. Uh, that was the jersey I was talking about as well. The 76 jersey. Um, also. Uh, the, if you guys are having trouble with your limited lineup, go check out the video I released, uh, I believe it was Saturday, I want to say. Uh, yeah, yesterday I released a video. By the time you guys see this video, it's going to be Monday, so I'm recording this Sunday, Sunday night before the uh, event ends as we get a diamond. And it's West Unsell. I know I bought that one. That's not original own. So we sell that one. All right. Another original own. Love to see it. I love. I, I, I mess with the, the, you know, the original owner sticker. It is what it is. So far, we're not seeing much. United Center, Chicago Bulls, Floyd. Love to see it. 
bring back, uh, brings back a lot of memories, definitely. We're almost through here. Uh, you know, still no shakes. Still ain't uh, seeing no pay dirt. Oh, these are some of my favorite jerseys too. Love the Raptors jersey, the old school one. This is the original Raptors jersey. As far as uh, you know, when they drafted Damon Stoudemire, and uh, it was the expansion year where uh, Vancouver and Toronto were introduced. And uh, I like that jersey. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll make one of my lineups like that. Maybe my TTO lineup will have wrapped the jerseys. Or maybe my offline. I don't know. I know I, I switched to the uh, I switched to the 76ers. I'll rock with that for a little bit. I was using the Miami stuff because I like the Vice jerseys. Uh, that's probably my favorite city jerseys, all the Vice jerseys. So I messed with that. Got another new jersey there. That's a Charlotte jersey. See the Kobe there? Lead a Kobe there. Maybe the price goes up. Never know. It is what it is. At the end of the day, you know, MT is MT. And then we'll put this on KD. All right. Uh, if you guys are wondering how my MT count jumped up there, uh, if you looked at my previous videos, during my pack opening, I did pull Larry Bird and I did throw him in the auction house right away. He sold for 265. I believe it was 265k and then uh i opened like a few more packs uh, i opened like another 100k worth and then i stopped and then i was watching a video on youtube and then i just went back in to uh the pack market and i was like you know what screw that you know all these dudes pulling all these uh dark matters and the ones that i want this and that i went in there opened one more pack and it was uh, Dark Matter in the middle, some middle cheese, the way I like to say. If I'm talking low, if I sound low, it's because uh, my lady and my daughter are sleeping, so you know I can't be too loud. But um, uh, I opened it up. It was Dark Matter right in the middle, uh, and uh, you know out walks the seven foot six giant himself, Yao Ming. Um, so I was able to uh, sell Yao Ming. Added a few badges to him, diamond contract, it is what it is. And he sold for uh, a little over a million MT. So uh, that was able to boost me up why I'm so uh, high on MT. And you love to see it. So I was over 2 million, but then I started buying some players that uh, from the Triple Threat online board. Just finding cheap, cheap uh, prices for these guys. Of course, the price drops because people are pulling them. Uh, I was able to get a Clyde Drexler for like six six K MT. I got a LeBron James um, uh, NBA 75th LeBron. I got him for like 22 22,000 MT. So uh, yeah, I went shopping. Got a few guys because I need my collector level to go up. So these are guys that I don't have and they're usually expensive. And it's definitely a good time if you're looking for collector level or looking to get these players or you've always wanted to. Definitely check out their prices. Maybe sit on a filter with them, and somebody would eventually throw one up for cheap. And that's what happened with the uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, that's what happened with the LeBron. Somebody threw it up for 22k, and uh, I gobbled it up. Pause. We're almost done here. Not too many packs left. Honestly, I probably, if I don't get anything, I'll be stubborn and uh, wind up going to play some more Triple Threat offline. Or maybe some unlimited just to see uh get more packs of these and uh you know i'm looking for pink diamonds mostly you know it is what it is i'm looking for uh that magic johnson is still going for like seven hundred thousand. i remember uh last week before this event came out uh there was um there was a magic johnson up there it was the only magic johnson up for a bid and it was like at a million mt like is cedric maxwell really worth that honestly like are y'all good whoever was paying a million mt for that pink diamond magic johnson at this point you know why would you want to spend that much on a uh you know a cedric maxwell card Albeit, he's probably uh, a really, really good card. I haven't used him, obviously. Uh, I did lock in for Terry. I could say that Terry is definitely worth it. He runs with my uh, clutch time team. He plays my small forward. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. 
I mean, with the MT I made from selling Yao and Larry Bird, uh, I was considering uh, purchasing either Ben Simmons or Yao Ming uh, to uh, fill in my lineup. I can get a Yao Ming right now for like 600K, which is still profit. Oh, that Vancouver Grizzly, uh, the Vancouver Grizzly jersey from the, uh, the old school one. Another one of my favorites. Uh, so... Yeah, it's nice to see that. Still no shakes, though. I mean, this is lame. This is not it. I mean, I like the MT. It's cool. It's free MT. You know, we love, we'll take any MT possible. But, you know, where the shakes? Where are the shakes? Was that a pacer? I think that was a pacer jersey. We're almost done here. We got like five or six more. Very uneventful, but, you know. Honestly, it's not uh, a bad idea to just keep racking up on these, and you never know you get lucky uh, and pull some, pull some heat, pull some cards that are are, are needed for lock-ins, and you know they're just going off, uh, going for a lot of MT. You know, anytime we get an amethyst, you know it's about a thousand per pack. Not bad at all. You know, you could farm some MT this way, and depending on the player you pick, uh, you pull. You know, you could uh, make some noise out there in the. In the MT market, you know what I mean? I mean, the uh, auction house, you know, you pull a heat card and just throw it up in there and make some MT off of it. You know, it's, it's all good. Almost done. I think I got a few more. Let me see. Yeah, I got like four more. It's a lot of grinding, just a lot of triple threat wins. I'm like maybe 110 wins away from uh, the Dark Matter in there, Willis Reed. So, you know, it, it's all towards. Uh, you know, it's all for a purpose. It's not for nothing. Play a bunch of triple threat offline games. Work your way up that ladder. Uh, Mo Peterson is solid if you can get him. So, uh, you know, it's all worth something. And two more packs. Let's see if we can get that last pack magic. Or second to last pack magic. Nah. Didn't happen. Alright, so that. Apply this. We give Giddy. We give some Giddy some contracts. He plays on my clutch time team as well. Last pack magic, one time 2k, make it happen. Come on, boom, nothing. All right, it also oh, at least we got a new jersey, yes, sir. I love those buck jerseys, man. Memories, bro. Memories, yeah, that's it. I mean, hey, you still got time. Uh, by the time I'm recording this, it is uh 11 14 p.m. So, uh, you know, get in there and uh, you know, keep on getting some uh. Keep on getting some W's. You collect more cards. You collect for collector level. You get these up. See, I collected all of these jerseys. It's a beautiful thing, and it's simple. It's easy. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, get get on the horse. Get out there. Rack, rack up some wins. Do your thing. Anyway, you know that's the video. Thank you for watching. Of course, hit the like button again. Kill the like button for me. Help me out. Let's get a let's get a goal right now. Twelve likes. Let's get twelve likes on the video. Help your boy out. Most importantly, of course, smash the sub button. It's one the road to 250 subs. We're almost there. We got nine subs left to reach 250. If, uh, you know, by that logic, I'm at 241 subs. We'd love to see it. Growth is cool on the channel. Appreciate everything. Happy hunting out there. Uh, remember, if you guys are having trouble in Limited, go check out my video, Central Division only. And, uh, you know, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the vibes. This is Joey Brooklyn Knight. Peace out.